Good morning, friends. It's nice to be with you this last week in July. This is Monday, July 27th, 2020. And I don't know about you, but at this household, the days seem to go by so slowly. And before I know it, the week's over with, and then the month's over with. So here we are, the last week of July, and I get to spend this week with you, and I am looking forward to it. Karen is off this week. She is enjoying the beauty of the Northwest with her family. We wish her the very best, and I'm sure she will come back with many stories. So enjoy, Karen, and here we go. Let us center ourselves in our quiet spaces. For this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Holy One, as I face a new day with you at my side, I remember that this is a day you have given me free and clear. It is a clean slate upon which I can write my life song. I give you thanks for this day, for your continued presence, for your goodness, and for your enduring love. Even though things may not go perfectly today, I know you are with me. You are my strength and refuge, my help in times of trouble. Wrap your arms around me, Lord, so I can meet this day in perfect confidence and joy. Amen. This morning, I'm going to be reading from Romans 5, verses 1 through 5. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. A reading for Romans. And now, what I would like to do is read from the book of Psalms, Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. <clears throat> A message of hope and joy. Let us pause and reflect on our scripture reading this morning. And now what I would like to do is read a short uh, meditation from the book Journey to the Heart by Melody Viette. It is called Joy is the way. The woman was in her 50s, maybe 60s. She had retired from the big city and was now working as a waitress in Mary's restaurant, a small cafe in a small mountain town. She looked as, as if she had lived alone. She looked as if she had been through her share of disappointments, joys, and awakenings. 
She brought me a plate of bacon and eggs, set them down, and gave me a radiant smile. It's a beautiful day, she said. Yes, it is, I said, looking at her. Are you happy to be here? Yes, she thought for a moment. Yes, I am. Joy is the way. Joy in the morning, joy throughout the day, joy at twilight. Joy in our dreams, waking and sleeping. For so long, we believe that our joy depended on specific outward circumstances, on a particular situation being a certain way, or on the presence or behavior of a particular person. While getting what we want and being with those we love can add to our joy, we have learned another kind of joy, a deeper kind of joy, a joy that abides and carries us through. Joy doesn't come from the outside, although the energies of the universe and universal love can add to our joy and fill our well-being. Joy comes from doing the divine will each moment. Joy comes from living in harmony with ourselves each moment of each day. Joy is a choice that comes from accepting and living fully each moment of our lives, knowing that each day and each event is important. That is a reading from The Journey to the Heart by Melody Biette. Now what I would like to do is to read a poem from Unfolding White. Your difficulties belong what angers and seduces you, what pains you or confounds you. You are the pages of the book. They are your teachers. They are the rough desert when your savior abides. The story of grace has, been, has many chapters and much suspense. Read the whole book, every page, and keep in your heart the gift of hope knowing there is wheat among the weeds. The faithful one knows how to harvest, knowing the story is not over yet. Let us now take time to reflect on our meditation and poem of Let us pray. May the angels of light glisten for us this day. May the sparks of God's beauty dance in the eyes of those we love. May the universe be on fire with his presence for us this day. May the new sun's rising grace us with gratitude. Let earth's greenness shine and its waters breathe with spirit. Let heaven's wind stir the soil of our souls and fresh awakening. Rise within us. May the mighty angels of light glisten in all things this day. May they summon us to reverence. May they call us to life. Amen. That's it for me today, my friends. I'm looking forward to being with you on Wednesday. And in the words of Maya Angelou, be the rainbow in someone else's life today. God bless, and I will see you on Wednesday.